A lot of games have some sort of moving platforms, either to help the player pass over a large pool of lava, or to elevate the character from one level to the other. That's what we will do in today's video, so without wasting any more time, let's jump into Unity and do it. Welcome to a new video by the Gamesmith. So right now all we have is a simple scene in which the goal is to go from this level to this one. And this platform is the one that will move and help us achieve the goal. So let's do it. First of all, we will need to create a new C-sharp script and let's call it moving platform. Once it's open, we'll start by declaring a public transform and we will call position A and position B. This will be the start and the end positions of the path of the platform. Then followed by a public integer, which will be the speed. And finally, a vector2, which will be our target position. In the start function, we will set our target position to be equal to position A dot position. Then in the update function, we want to check that if vector2 dot distance from our current position, so transform dot position to our target position, which will be position A, for example, dot position. And this distance is less than 0.1f. In this case, we will need to set our target position to be equal to position B dot position. Now we will copy the same lines of code. Now we will copy those same lines of code and paste it one more time. However, this time we will change position B to be position A and position A to be position B. After that, we will need to set our transform.position to be equal to vector2 dot move towards and we will be moving from our current position, so transform.position to our target position with the speed multiplied by time dot delta time. Once we save the script and return back to Unity, we will need to go to our moving platform, add the script to it, and then we will need to create an empty game object. This will be position A, and let's give it a gizmos so we can see it in the scene. Now move it and position it at the first level. Now duplicate it, move it to the second level, and rename it to position B. Now back to our platform, we will drag both the position A and position B to each respective field. Setting the speed, for example, to 5. Now running the game. Now once we start the game, you'll see that the platform moves from one position to the other. However, right now, if the player steps over the platform, he doesn't move with it, so we need to fix it. To do so, we will add a box collider to our platform, and then we'll jump back again in the code. In order to fix it, we will create another function, which will be onCollision enter 2 d in which we will set collision.transform.setParent to be transform, and for leaving the platform, we will set an on collision exit to D. We will set collision dot transform dot set parent to be null. Now save the script and return back to Unity. And you will see that now everything is working perfectly.
If you learned something new today, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This is the Gamesmith, and as usual, see you in the next one.